Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And I was online and I saw something that was really cool. I saw blueprints that uh, they sell. It's kind of a gimmick on Amazon. And they put different types of breeds of dogs. And you could put your dog's names on them. And I thought that would be a really cool project for us to try in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. Okay, so I opened up an 8.5 by 11 letter size. And I gave it 72 dots per inch. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to the shape tool rectangle and make a rectangle. And I am going to give it a color. And if I, instead of my color wheel, I want to give it a blue. You can choose any blue you like, but I kind of looked at some blues that were on blueprints and I thought this would work. So I did some matching with it. And so I'm going to the RGB hex slider and I'm going to punch in 0, E, 5, 5, A, 3. And I'll do that. And that's the blue. So that's the blue I'm going to be using for the background of the blueprint. But I don't really want it to be solid. So what I'll do is I'll select it again and I'll go back into the, and, I'll, and I'm going to choose the color wheel this time. And here is opacity. In a previous tutorial, I talked about noise. And this, this opacity just brings things lighter or lower. But if you actually click on this, it switches to noise. So I'm bringing the noise way up. I'd say, I don't want it too far, but let's say about there. And that gives us a nice little texture. So I like that texture. And that's great. So then I was looking for a golden retriever. And I brought some originals here. So I could not find a golden retriever that I liked in uh, stock photos here. So I went on Google and I found one in Wikipedia and I gave credit to them in the notes below so you can just look at the notes. So here's the golden retriever. I'm going to duplicate it so I don't ruin my original and bring it to the front. And so let's see. I need to mask this golden retriever. So again, I will do this very quickly. You should take much more time but I'm going to use the selection brush mask and I'm just going to and this looks pretty like it'll work pretty well because there's a big contrast here so I kind of like this and I'm going to get closer in some areas that I was hitting the control or command plus key depending on which computer you're on and I'm just going to do this very quickly I'm using my left bracket key to make the brush smaller right bracket makes it larger and now that I think I've got most of what I need I need to go fix something so if I use my alt key I could take away this does not have to be a perfect thing because it's really going to be on a blueprint but if you press alt and then drag you take away some of the selection and if you if you don't press alt you're adding to the selection so I need to add this foot in and I right there I'll bring that back up with the alt key and I think that this is close enough for what I need so I'm going to hit refine and it looks pretty good I know this is a little weird spot but that's really the way the dog was so I might just get rid of that later but I'm not really sure so for now I'm keeping it and I am going to select mask so I will mask it and say apply. Okay, so now that we have it masked, we need to turn it into a black and white. So let's go to adjustments, black and white. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to maybe give it a teeny bit more. I don't know. There you go. And then we need to rasterize it because what I'm going to do is detect edges. And if you detect edges, it doesn't seem to work when these uh, on masks and everything. So I have to right click and rasterize the whole thing. And while I'm rasterizing, I'm going to trim it down to the mask itself. So I'm rasterizing and trim. There we go. So now we have the dog. He's masked out and he's a pixel layer. And so now we'll go to filter, detect, detect edges. And now we'll switch from normal to screen. Now, I don't know what's going on. 
I think in this latest version, the detect edges is coming up a little bit choppy, but it's not that big of a deal in this situation because I'm going to lower the opacity down a little bit and I think that's going to work anyway. All right, so we'll bring the dog down a little bit here. We don't need him to be that big. So here I ended up with a head of a dog and I took that from um, the stock photos. That's the dog. And to save time, I'm just getting rid of that. What I did after that is I'll show you here. And I masked the dog's head. And then after that, I basically took the dog and did it, the same thing that we did here. So I have a dog's head, I have a front view, and I have this side view. So I am going to duplicate this rectangle. Let's bring it out a little. I'm going to duplicate this rectangle, Control Command J, and I am going to, with my Shift and Control or Command key, I'm bringing this in a little bit like that, and then I will give it a stroke, some, something like that, maybe, I don't know, five pointer seems pretty good. And I will turn the color of that stroke to white. And I don't like it to be so bright, so I'm going to bring the opacity down just like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Let me bring it in a little bit. Let's bring the dog a little smaller, maybe the head a little smaller. And okay, that looks good. So now let's uh, start getting to the details of this dog. Let's resize it where we think it might work. And now I'm going to take another rectangle, and this time I don't need a fill. So I am going to say no fill, but I'll keep the uh, five points. And I'm going to draw a rectangle, maybe like right about here. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to duplicate that rectangle. Well, first let's bring down the opacity. And then I'll duplicate that with Control or Command J. And I will bring that one down maybe to here. And I will bring it maybe to here. And then I'll duplicate it again. Control or Command J. And I will bring that one here and bring it across and up like that maybe. We can adjust them later. And then let me move that a little bit more. And then I'll take that one and do Control or Command J again. And I'm going to bring this one down. And I think I'll make them both a little bit smaller and then bring the dog up like this. And I'm going to shrink the dog so even more. Okay, so let's talk about this first one. This first one, I want to give information on the dog. So I went to Wikipedia, and what I did was I looked up this breed. This breed is a golden retriever. And so I am going to open a file. Hold on. And I opened a file, and this was a golden retriever file. And this golden retriever, I didn't want it all, but I could take all this first information off of Wikipedia, and I'm going to copy. And then I'll go here, and I will use my frame text tool. And I'll go in this frame. And I'm going to say, Edit, Paste. And there it is. And I'm using, you could decide what size you want to use. Um, let's make give it a little space on the side like that. So I'm just adjusting it with my arrow keys. We want it to be white, of course, because everything is white. And I have to tell you that I do need more room than the 12. So what I'll do is I think I will shrink the dog down a little bit up here, the head, like that maybe. And then I have to bring this one up here to there. And then I'll take this frame and bring it up here. 
and then I'll move this. Oh no, I'm going to keep that there. And now I'm going to use artistic text. And I'm going to just type something here. I'm going to call it the breed because that's the information on the breed. And since this, let me see what text that is. That's Arial. I think I want to actually change it to Times New Roman. And I think I'd like that better. And then I'm going to take the breed one and take also do Times New Roman. So they're both, oh, I didn't do that. I'm sorry. Arial should have been Times New Roman. And not, not only is it good there, it, I can actually make it bigger because Times New Roman gives you more space. So here's 12. I can't go 13 because 13 looks too much. So what I could do is I can do 12.5. And that makes it a little bit bigger. And I like that. And now the breed, I'm going to center that. Maybe a little bit smaller. And I will take, make that white. Now some of this, let's get actual size. So view, zoom, actual size, or control or command eight. I don't want this to look so bright. The smaller letters you probably need to because they're so small and, and you need that. But on the, on the larger letters like this, I think we need to just tiny touch down the opacity. I just want to bring it down just a touch so it doesn't look 100% white because it would not be 100% white on a blueprint. So I like that. That's the breed. So we can now just duplicate that. Control or Command J. Move this up here. Actually, I'm going to move it down here. And I am going to type golden retriever. Am I spelling it right? I hope so. If I'm not, I'm sure many of you will tell me because I've screwed up before. <laughs> hey, what can you do? This is why this is life, you know? I'll bring that down. And then, I, you know what? I can actually leave a little more room for the dog right there. And since that's already a lower opacity as the first one, there's no change. And I'm going to duplicate that again and bring this up. And I need to name the dog. And years ago, I had a dog named Scutch. So I'm going to name it Scutch. And I'm going to put that one all in caps, S-K-U-T-C-H, because she was a Scutch. She was a lovable dog, but she was a Scutch. <laughs> Oh, some of you don't even know what the word scutch means. Look it up. <laughs> okay, and then I went to stock photo. And I think I have it. I already have it there. But I think I did dog's paw. And that's the one I pulled in. So I'll just pull this in right now. And we'll bring it back. See where we're at. Shrink it down. Go back here. And then I'm going to put the paw right there. Let's get close up here. And then I'll, I will shrink the box later when we have to fit it, right? And if I do control or command I, it's a white. And it tells me it's rasterized, and I don't care that it's rasterized. On this one also, we go back to the layer. I need to lower the opacity. We don't want it to look that great. So I think that's okay. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. Let's go up. Maybe, let's keep that one about 80. And that's great. So now we we're getting most of the things ready. Now you should really work on this part, but this is a short tutorial. So I'm just going to have a little fun and play. So for example, I am going to take some text and I am going to write, um, let's say right here, um, B E A U <laughs> B E A U T I F U L beautiful. 
eyes because I think my dog would have beautiful eyes. I want the size to be very small though, maybe a 12, maybe a 14, it's okay. So if I do something like this, so now I'm gonna to go to the pen tool and I want the pen tool to have a line and I want the end of the line to be an arrow, which I showed you once in one of my tutorials about outlines with arrows. So I'm gonna choose barbed and I'm going to make sure the color is white. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna maybe go from here, click, click, and click. Now that looks way too big for me, so let's bring the point down. I'll even bring it smaller than that. And then the arrow we could bring up a little bit, like that maybe. And okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'll take this again and I will control a command J and I'm gonna put down here, maybe I'll write something over that that says warm and cuddly. And I don't know if that part is spelled right, but and maybe I'll make that one go to the right and then I'll take my pen tool again and I will just go like this. I'm gonna take off snapping so let's go like that, because snapping was seemed to be getting in my way. And so that's what I did. I just did three clicks like that. Now you can put your, your size of your dog. You can do anything you want, but I'm just doing this for fun. And so actually I want my beautiful eyes to be saying there. And then I'm going to duplicate that again. And this time I'm bring it here and I will write... fluffy tail and then let's move fluffy tail to here and then let's go to the pen tool and since it's already set up from before I can go like this and that and then showing fluffy tail and I'll do one more because we don't have much time so let's do this one and let's keep it right here and say maybe let's think uh, my best friend because my dog is my best friend every dog I've ever had was my best friend and so now we go back to the pen tool and and I'll just go like this and you could do anything you want you could put little squares around these things you can tell at the measure. If you want to do some details, you can do the measurement of the tail. You could do so many different things. But I thought this was a cute idea. They were charging fifty dollars for this, and all, and they had all the information of the breeds, and you just put your dog's name in there, and it, and it, it is a nice gift. So if you have someone, actually, sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm looking at this as I'm talking. This is not really where I want to position it. And this should be a little bit higher, I think. There we go. So if you wanted to uh, get a gift for somebody, this would be a nice gift. You can frame this and, and give it to them. You know, the holiday season's coming up. We don't all have a lot of money. Some people do, some people don't. But so many people really appreciate homemade gifts. And this is like a special gift. If you knew someone and you had a picture of their dog or their child, and you can give them a blueprint, and you can do so many different things on this. I mean, I just made it very simple, but you can put crazy details. So I'm hoping you like this tutorial and come up with different ways. In fact, if some of you have different ideas and, and create one of these, just send it to me. Give me a link or send me the photo or something. Put it in the, in the comments. I think it's, I thought this was kind of fun. So thank you. And if you found this useful, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.